Hi guys and welcome again to your JavaFX tutorial. In today's video will be about lines. We're going to review some of the properties of lines and also we're going to be designing a card in the next five or six videos. And in order to review uh, almost all the shapes that you can use inside JavaFX. So let's start with this video and let's go to NetBeans. Okay, so here we are in NetBeans again, and uh, well, we have created a, a new JavaFX class. And if you want to know how to create a new JavaFX project inside NetBeans, please review video number one, and we uh, review how to create a new project, and also we discussed how to um, the structure uh, of a JavaFX application is. Okay, so the first step. Here will be to define a group node. We're using a group object called root. Okay. And then we are going to define three lines. And two of them will be for the straight edges, and the other one will be the straight lines. Okay, so let's start defining our three lines. It will be line number one. Okay. Okay, we have defined line number one here. And now let's see how uh, what these numbers means. Okay, so now let's go to our PowerPoint slide. Okay, so in order to create a line, you need to uh, to set a start point, a start coordinate, uh, again with an x and a y value. So this will be the start point of your line, and also you need to define the end point. Okay, so the first two numbers will be the uh, start coordinate, and the second uh, uh, couple of numbers will be the the end coordinate. Okay, so that's how you define a line. Okay, let's go back to NetBeans, and here it is. Here, what we are doing is defining uh, a line which starts at point zero or hundred. And finishes at point one hundred and four hundred. Okay, so let's define the other three lines. Okay, so line number three, number two. Okay. And line number three. Let's correct this one. Okay, so let's add the imports. Okay, so now that we have our three lines, let's add them to the root node. Okay, remember we have the root node and we will use the method getChildren and the method addAll. Inside of this method, we will uh, add all the components that we one inside our stage. One. Two. 
Okay. Also, we have here the we are declaring or defining um, the scene. We are adding the root node to the scene and also defining the dimensions of the main window of the main stage. 1000 plus 600. And the uh, color, the background color for, for this uh, stage, this scene will be gray. Okay. We are setting the title here and setting the scene and also so showing the 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 main window the stage so let's see how it looks so far okay and there you go as you can see we have three lines here and, and we have uh, these lines without any format so now let's review how can we apply some some color and format to these to these three lines so let's close this window and let's go again here to NetBeans, and we're going to define uh, the format for these three lines. Let's preview the basic uh, format. Let's go to our PowerPoint application. Okay, so we have here uh, uh, this line, and we can. This is uh, a line with a basic formatting. So we can define a stroke, which will be the color. We can define the stroke width, which will be the width of this. Of this line, and we can define the line, the the cap of this this stroke. We have three times of cap, and uh, three styles: the bot, the square, and the round. Uh, bot means that the edges will be flat. The square means that they can uh, they will have a rectangular shape at the end. And round will be a round shape, like this one. Okay. So now let's apply some format to our lines. Let's let's go back to NetBeans. Okay. So for the line number one and line number number three, we are defining the we're setting the same format for both of them. Here okay, we're going to define a color. Let's start. And we're going to use set stroke method. Okay. So in order to select a color, let's use the class color, and then and we can choose a, a color, uh, okay? So let's uh, use brown, in this case. Also, we would like to find the width, the stroke width. We want 10 pixels of a, uh, of a stroke. Okay, so let's copy and paste the same lines of code for line number three. Now let's just change the name of the object. Okay, so for line number two, we want to define a dash pattern. Okay, so let's go to PowerPoint to review this. Okay, so a dash uh, uh, stroke, uh, a stroke with a dash pattern would be like this one. Okay, so a dash pattern means that you will define uh, the length of the segments for this this stroke, this line. Okay, so you will use these two methods here. For example. For example, the set stroke dash of set uh, will set the start pixel of the dash array. Okay, so it, it is the starting point of the starting pixel where you want that this dash pattern uh, begins. Okay, and the and get stroke dash array uh, with the add all method will set the the length length of each segment for this this dash pattern. For example, you can, in this case, we can define a, a dash array of 40, then, I don't know, 15 for this empty segment, and then 5 for this little segment here. Okay, and this pattern will repeat until 
the end of the of the line. Okay, so if we define an offset of zero, and this means that the start pixel will be the pixel zero for this uh, dash array to start. If we define the offset uh, as ten, uh, this means that uh, in the pixel number ten, the the array will start. Okay, let's go back to Netlinks and apply this to to our lines. Okay, so line number two will be assigned with a dash pattern. So first of all, let's define uh, the color. White color. We want it to look like a straight line. And then let's define the the width. We want a 10 pixel width as well. And we are going to define the cap. It is important to define the cap here because uh, otherwise uh, the dash array will not take effect. Uh, I discovered this by playing around with the with the code. So let's use um, um, line cap style uh, uh, about this line cap, uh, cap style. Sorry. Okay. Select this one. But 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 means that the the edges of the line will be flat okay let's start defining the the dash part Get a stroke dash array and then select add all method and here we will define the the length of the segments for this dash pattern. So we're gonna use 20. This method receives double values so 20d and 40d. Okay, let's define finally the offset for this dash pattern. Zero. We want this pattern to start at the pixel zero. Okay. So now let's take a look how it looks so far. Okay, so as you can see, all the format had and um, have has been applied to these lines, and that's what we wanted uh, for these lines. We wanted two brown lines and one white line with a segment uh, with a dash pattern, and the first segment is 20 pixels length, and the second, which is an empty segment, is 40 pixels length. Okay, and it, and this part will repeat until the end of the of the line. So thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to watch the following video. The next video, uh, we're going to create the car shape, and we're going to use a path in order to create this shape. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and have a good one.